Ethan Smaller for Five on the Floor on the Five Reasons Sports YouTube channel. This is the latest season ticket. Just got out of the Philadelphia 76ers press conferences. We had Brady and Alex at the Heat. Here's what I took away from it, and a lot of this was covered on Five on the Floor with Greg and Sean, but Philadelphia 76ers, that was a weird one uh, in my view. I mean, they talked about lack of effort. How did you come out with lack of effort in a 2-2 series? down here that you had just tied up. You had Joel Embiid back on the floor this time. You didn't have him for games one and games two. They talked about not getting to their game in any way that the Heat kind of pushed them around. Of course, James Harden always has to say something about the officials. So he kind of said something without saying something. He was asked uh, if they were allowed to be as physical as Miami was, and he said no comment. Harden had just three free throws in this game, just three, as did Embiid. And, of course, Embiid took the worst of a collision and ended up uh, hurting his face afterwards. But what I took away from the press conference was, whereas the Miami Heat seem to be playing to win this series, it does seem like the Philadelphia 76ers are playing to win over the media. Joel Embiid talked about how he's in a lose-lose situation because if he doesn't play, he's going to be called soft. And if he does play, then people are going to say he's not playing that well. I cannot imagine Jimmy Butler or any other member of the Miami Heat saying something like that, that they were actually affected by what the media says. They just always say they don't care about the media. I don't know why Joel's paying attention to that. I give Joel tremendous credit for being out there on the court with everything that he's dealing with right now, not just the face, but also what he's dealing with with his hand. But I don't know. There was a little bit of a loser's mentality there in that room with Philadelphia today. We'll see if they can summon the energy to send this thing back here. They did not come out with the necessary energy tonight. The one strategic thing that may change, I asked Doc Rivers about how sort of easy Jimmy Butler has had it in this series. He's been able to get to all of his spots. He said, we may have to do something we don't want to do. Heat fans took that for like he's going to sweep the leg or something. That's not what he means. He means double him. They haven't doubled him much in this series because, honestly, they've been more worried about Tyler Hero. And Doc Rivers has kind of indicated that they have taken Tyler out for most of the series. He had nine points in the fourth quarter tonight when the game was basically over. Just one point before that, he has not had a good plus-minus in this series. He's not been the dynamic score he was in the regular season. But Jimmy Butler's got what he wanted. So we will see if they decide to double Jimmy. In fact, Embiid touched on that as well. He said, you know, I get doubled every time I touch the ball. Maybe we'll need to do that with Jimmy. If they do that, the Heat are going to be prepared for that. And you may see the shooters, including Hero, finally get going on the road if that happens. So we saw it tonight with Miami. Great team performance. We covered it all on five on the floor. I'm sure you caught it on post up. And I'll be on starting nine in the morning as well. Ethan Skolnick here at a very empty FTX Arena after the Miami Heat win by 33 in Game 5.